here and like seeing, like hearing what everyone has to say. So. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Mark. I'm Hector. insignificant as I feel sometimes. Uh, it's not my fault. The universe all made us. So, <laughs> I'm like the universe in the shape of me. Yeah. You're the universe in the shape of you. Yes. So we're the universe experiencing each other as uh, weird as we can get sometimes or as uh, maybe unsavory as we can get sometimes or as silly. It's the universe saying something to you. Yeah. And uh, we could have been born like a thousand years ago, or I could have been a slug, but we're all here yeah. under this tree, so that's something. So yeah, talk to you more later. Hey, thank hey. you, Hector. I'm so glad you are all here. Hi. My mom's the one that first taught me about yoga and meditation. When did you start learning about yoga? And what did you feel was like the best benefits for you for yoga and for meditation? Well, I had serious problems falling asleep. I had pretty bad, it was fall. So I was taking medication and they said, oh, I was falling asleep driving. And then somebody says yoga. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and then that's it. That was the beginning of yoga. Beautiful. And I learned to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. So nice. Uh, Thanks, Ma. Yeah. I don't have a workshop for y'all today. Uh, I am a Reiki free though. Uh, so if you ever want a little bit of Reiki, just you know, come to me. Maybe we can do it. Maybe not. Um, I also know a lot about plants, specifically trees, but some herbs too. So time for it. It's cool to go on a walk, and I can tell you about trees. If you want. Yeah. Um, that's what you studied. Yeah, that's what I studied in college. Um, I originally wanted to be a physics teacher or something. I wanted to do something with physics. And I was like, nope, don't want to do that. I'm going to study trees. <laughs> and now I'm doing something entirely different. I'll probably be doing something entirely different two years from now. Who knows? Um, I only got introduced to these fine folks, Alexander, Joel, and Katrina specifically. Um, <laughs> and Jimmy. Um, but I've only been around here for like a, a two months. I live out in White Coast, Virginia. Uh, I feel really, 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 really fortunate to be here. So, <laughs> Thank <We're> you. Fortunate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> everybody doing today? <laughs> Good. I'm sorry, I'm Andy, and I'm Great. Yeah, my name is Z, and um, I will be facilitating a workshop today on chakra clearing, and maybe some other things as well. So, oh yeah, a little bit about myself. Um, it's it's kind of hard to talk about myself. I do like a lot of things and like these past few years I've been learning more and more about certain things that I also uh, am able to do and I'm like, how do I talk about this? Or like, I never thought about speaking about it logically because it's kind of like a, like certain skill sets are like intuitive. And so anyways, we're going to do some chakra clearing and energy healing and uh, 
um, raise our vibrational frequency. And yeah, so much love, blessings, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Aki. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. The community that I have recently joined and cherishing uh, everybody. And this is just wonderful. I'm so happy to be here. So, a uh, couple of years ago, maybe six, seven years ago, I went to a very, very dark time in my life. Very dark. Like, I can explain that later if you guys are interested. But, anyways, like I was suffering through life and uh, started looking for. Tools. I realized that I don't have tools to live. That was I don't have tools to deal with life. And I have come across a lot of really good tools uh, that help me on a daily basis to cope with life and uh, to be able to live in the moment and enjoy life. And one of them is breathing that I do daily. And I would love to share that with you all. You might have heard about it. It's called Wim Hof breathing. Mm, yeah. We're going to do several rounds of Wim Hof breathing and I'm going to walk you all through a DMT breathing. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Just through your breath, you can activate a lot of the stuff. So, uh, I'm very excited to be here. I will pick all of your brains. I love to go deep into stuff. I will, I, if you, anyone is interested in talking about what is, why are we here, I'm so happy to be here. Yay. All right. It's beautiful. Thank you, Thank you Aki. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> so grateful to be here with you now. The breath is life. The water is life. I love every, everybody so, 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 so much. Um, what I want to bring to the table is some shakuhachi making activities. So I love breathing. I know all of you love breathing. I love breathing. It's great. Bamboo plus breathing <laughs> equals flutes. Trust. Trust. Bamboo can take you there. It can. It's sustainable. It's a grass. If you treat it right, it will treat you right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank you for the assistance. <laughs> um, this is just like something super easy to make. Not easy to play. It's hard to breathe sometimes. Make no mistake. Have your intentions set. Take a deep, big breath. Let's get there. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Yay! Plane you are on, I want to <laughs> 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 um, So I'm Susan. I'm also really new to this community and so grateful to found you all or you have found me. I don't really know. We're figuring that process. Um, yeah, so I don't have a workshop for you all, but I'm just very excited to see what we unfold. Thank you. 
And Susan knows, she's a nurse, and she knows a lot about massage and healing. You want to tell us a little about that? Yeah. Uh, sure. So I've been a nurse now for a few years. Most of my focus, though, is um, is women's health um, and kind of like the perinatal care, so the birthing process before and after. Um, yeah, but I'm a big proponent of touch and also just you know holistic means of healing. Uh, you know, with massage being a big one of those. So yeah, very. Very big on the healing powers of touch. Thank you, Max. Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you, Susan. Uh, uh, things everyone was sharing. Another thing that I'm very, um, I've done a lot of research on is alternative relationship styles and polyamorous. Um, and so my communication skills have come a lot from my research in that and also developing and improving our intimacy skills. They all go hard. Hand in hand. So if anyone has questions for me yeah. about that, or if you yourselves have some um, experience or, or information about it you would like to share with me, I would be happy to hear. Thank you. Yay, thank you for sharing that. Yeah, I already talked about the tea thing a little bit, but um, a path that I came here years ago through is in college learning about integrated science and technology. And I kind of came to this realization that technology is not going to save us. We have to save us. And the fight that we're dealing with, with, we live in a beautiful paradise here, but a lot of places in the world are not so fortunate. And to be here and to celebrate that is beautiful. To hope that this spreads other places is I think really why we're here. And so what I've found is that the community models of blending new science with old tech is a big study of mine. I want to figure out how to make people like you guys be able to, well, not make, that's I guess the wrong word, but figure out how to facilitate the gatherings like this so that we can live this way, so that we can learn and grow in the ways that we feel called to as a people from the ground up and not be taught from the top down what we have to know, what we have to learn, what we have to do just to survive. So we're here today, remember that this is a foundation being led. Thank you, Alexandra. <laughs> Thank you. For setting us up in Mitch, beautiful space that we get to. Yeah, I don't know why he's not here, but we love you, Mitch. <laughs> love you. Thank you, Mitch. Um, but I just wanted to say that if you guys want to talk about those kinds of technologies and things, I really love those conversations. So, blessings. Thank you. What next? Yeah. Thank you. That's nice. And do you want to like an interest in the, like how to do things kind of like I know there's not a lot of wires over here, but that's like something that we're pretty interested in. Like how can you obtain such a sound or how can we get this to work and stuff and so everything there is kind of just like our little collective of how can we combine what we have and, and make each particular component do what it can do well and and just spread spread the music and what can we change about it a lot of our stuff is not written or whatever we just have an idea or we hear the partial idea that exists, the music that's existing, and we say, how do we fit, fit into that? Mm. What kind of textures can we add, or whatever? So, we've been playing for a number of years, and rarely r ever wrote anything down. But we mm. can just walk into a room and start, and that's how we met. It's amazing. Um, that is how we uh, met. Yeah. And in the music, this uh, one of our friends in his back, the back of his house, created this just like kind of like a music shed. This yeah, big. Studio. Yeah, big music studio, and I just popped in there, and I was like, "These are some of the best musicians, improv, real musicians yeah, I've ever we met." Barely, we barely said hello and exchanged names, and then played for a half an hour without stopping, and it just Ooh. constantly going. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, it was, it was Thank fun. you. And what's your name again? My name is Chris. So Chris, Vlad, Vlad Wally, Aki. <laughs> He's Grant. <laughs> You're Aki. <laughs>
am Aki too. Really? Yeah. yeah, that's my middle name. Oh, I didn't know. I thought you were joking. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. And Jimmy and Daniel. You guys want to say your names one more time? Katrina. Katrina. Susan. Joel. Sean. Hector. His cute son, Rio. Mark. Mia, my mom, Anna Savage, <laughs> Katie, Maxwell, <laughs> Z, Aki, Jimmy, and Michael Chen. And now we shall continue to the workshops with Michael Chen leading the kombucha workshop.